Hey, what's going on, everybody out there? Uh, just getting right ahead to another job. We got a a emergency work order for uh, sliding glass doors for a commercial uh, commercial storefront. So, just I, I want to explain a little bit about Adam certification, A A D A M. That's the automatic door service uh, certification. You really gotta be careful and pay attention to what you do and don't do with some of these high energy doors. So when you have a door operator, most door operators, if they're on you know, a, a, lower, um, a lower occupancy or a lower traffic door, like a city hall maybe or something like that, um, and there's like a box and an arm, usually those are gonna be low voltage or low energy operators. The high energy operators are gonna be like what you're gonna find at a Target, Walmart, Superstore, any big box store like that, where the, the doors kind of slide together uh, or they have a high energy arm that operates multiple doors at once. So you really need to watch what you're doing with those. From what my personal understanding is and the way I understand the way everything is done, we can work on mechanical aspects of that door and not be Adam certified. If you work on the electronics, the speed, the sensors, the amount of pressure that the door has, uh, like I said, the speed at which it closes, anything like that, you need to have that Adam certification so that you understand what your parameters are that you need to be working with. And this can come into play because if somebody gets injured by that door, you really want to make sure that you have your ducks in a row and that you're working on the things that you can actually work on. So as far as I know, again, we, you know, the store manager that's there, they can turn the, the door operator on, off. You can have it closed. You can have it hold open. You can mess with that knob. You can do all that stuff, but you don't want to open up the, the panel and actually get into any of the electronics or set any of the sensors unless you are Adam certified. So I'm just putting that out there so you know. Uh, we're going to go to this one and see exactly what's going on with it. Um, but it sounded like a mechanical issue. They said it's operating intermittently and it hangs up is what they told me. So I hope that, uh, I hope that we get to see what's wrong with this one and I'll bring you guys along with me so that we can see exactly what we do to fix it. However, just know that there is a point that I won't go beyond if it's not as simple as replacing a roller or maybe making an adjustment where that door's like dragging and hanging up. You know, we can make an adjustment. Uh, we can we can mess with the rollers. We can do that kind of stuff. We can see if it's aligned properly. We can see if there's stuff in the track frame uh, or in the, the guide track. Uh, we could do all that stuff, but we don't want to start messing with electronics or sensors. And if it's a sensor issue, then I'm just gonna have to say, I'm not qualified to deal with that. You're gonna have to put in your, your service request again and request that one of the sensors be replaced or you know something out of my scope of detail. So just wanna put that out there so that everybody stay safe, stay legal, stay doing what you're supposed to be doing. Work to work within your capacity and work within your knowledge base. Don't be afraid of automatic door operators, both high energy and low energy, but also don't overextend yourself and open yourself up for liability either. So we'll go check it out. Okay, so we've got an issue with these automatic doors and I believe it's down in the track frame because when you bring this closed, you can see that big hang up right there, right? It's all right in there. You can see that that end picks up and this end comes down. But this end doesn't seem to have a whole lot of issues. It's just, just that one. Okay, see how it picks it up? It sets it down. You can come on out. Thank you. Yeah. There's something definitely blocking that track frame, so that's what we need to figure out what it is. So I'm going to break this door down and break that open. It's meant to do that. There's a little ball bearing up there that goes into here. So this is all meant to do this. And then I'm going to bring this closed. Well, I won't. Which is actually kind of good, because that's going to tell me right where the problem is 
and there's the problem. Okay, so there is something stuck in that track frame right there. So we need to clean all of this. There's rocks, all kinds of stuff in here, and we'll clean all of this out. So this thing is just a flat blade screwdriver. Get in here, get all of this gunk out of this track frame. And here, let's see these pieces. Okay. Get there. Once we get those out there. That should solve it. Issue. Okay. Stand there. Then we're just gonna go ahead and clean everything out along here and then blow all this out too. Make sure we've got a nice, good, clean track frame, and I'm going to do this on both sides. Okay, so this one shut all the way. Clean all the way out. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. On both sides. It's nice and smooth. Close nice and smooth. It's nice and smooth again. Sounds pretty sure this way too. Bingo. And our final sponsor is Frontline Defense Systems Incorporated. This is the best theft deterrent system and we highly recommend a Frontline Defense full length latch guard with every door and locking system that we sell. Thank you for watching the Locksmith documentary.